Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Northern Development and Mines. Winter is coming. We've got one road, Highway 11, will inevitably be closed on numerous times, and Northerners will be cut off once again. We used to have an option. It was called the Northlander passenger train. In fact, I think we all agree that there was a mistake shutting that service down. In fact, both the NDP and the Conservatives promised to bring that service back or bring passenger rail service back in the last election campaign. In fact, as we speak, there are community groups mobilizing as we speak to help that happen. My question is to the Minister of Northern Development Mines, when is the Ford government going to bring back passenger rail service to northeastern Ontario? Minister of Energy, Northern Development and Mines. Well, Mr. Speaker, while well, this member has a track record of sitting on his hands for these important issues, we're moving forward with a reliable, effective, cost-efficient northern transportation strategy. There are people across the vast, uh, the vast region of northern Ontario, most of the size of Europe, Mr. Speaker, who need to be able to rely on bus services with washrooms in them to get to small towns and cities, to and from medical appointments, Mr. Speaker, safe highways to transport people and products. Railroads, Mr. Speaker, in different parts of the region that will, again, transport safely uh, people and their products, Mr. Speaker. We're working on a strategy that will be f effective for all of Northern Ontario, and I look forward to that member supporting that kind of plan. Yeah. <laughs> Supplementary. Once again, to the Minister of Northern Development Mines, I do seem to recall that during the election campaign, a promise was made to bring passenger rail service back to northeastern Ontario. It was made by the NDP and it was made by the Conservatives, That's right. including, I believe, the Premier, yes. to bring passenger rail back. We're great looking at the whole system, but a specific commitment was made. Specific people are being cut off. And I also remember, I distinctly remember, you guys have a slogan. You guys have a slogan. You can help me with it. Yeah, promise made, but in the case of Northerners, it's more like promise maybe. maybe. Promise maybe. Once again, Minister, will you or will you not work with the NDP, work with Northerners to bring back passenger rail service to Northeastern Ontario? Minister, I guess I guess he'll huff and he'll puff, Mr. Speaker. Here's the promise that we made: it was to respect taxpayers' dollar. Because underpinning every question in this place is the NDP's complete disrespect for the structural deficits and debt that this province has. Mr. Speaker, it's like they're normalizing debt. Wait a second, colleagues. There this is the normalizing debt party. I'm there. I've landed, Mr. Speaker. Through you to my colleagues, should my eternal quest to understand what the NDP stand for stop here with this discovery? No. I'll continue the fight then, Mr. Speaker. But there isn't a family or a small business in this province who would operate their financial affairs like they would propose, and the, the independent people sitting down the way, Mr. Speaker, have run this province. 